Gentlemen, welcome to another build for the Scale Breaker patch. This time we're looking at the Stam DK. An Orc Dragon Knight with 64 points in his stamina. Rocking the Serpent Mundus and the Artem Takeaway Broth. Let's dive into what will probably be a very controversial build for most people. Right off the bat, I'm using two-piece, medium, Mighty Chew Dan. But wait! How can you possibly run Mighty Chew Dan and forego the most epic of all bonuses, the Burning Heart passive, and the Draconic Power Line? 12% increased healing. Are you an idiot, Merce? The answer is yes. But, I'm using Mighty Chew Dan, and I'm still going to have access to Burning Heart because of an interesting selection called Green Dragon Blood. Last 23 seconds is a burst heal in some respects for your, for your uh, tune, 37% of your missing health. But it also gives you major fortitude, major endurance, and minor vitality, increasing your health recovery, stam recovery, and healing received by 20, 20, and 8% for 23 seconds. Now, some of you might say, why would you run that, though, when you already get major endurance and major fortitude on your Essence of Immovability pot? And that's a great point. You do. But we're not going to run major fortitude and health and stam on an essence of immovability hot pot. We're going to actually run essence of lingering health. We're going to get a thousand health per second for 48 seconds. And we're going to get major vitality, increasing our healing by 30% for 15 seconds when we press this pot. So what you're effectively going to do is have permanent ward up time. You're going to have an additional health bonus. And then you're going to pick up, instead of spending the Magicka on armor, you're going to spend it on green dragon blood. You're going to pick up minor vitality plus major vitality from the pot plus a 1,000 health per second rolling in plus the bonuses you would have had on your immovability pot. You do lose the immovability buff, and that sucks because CC is rampant, but it's just something different. You know, sometimes you just got to live a little, all right? And if you don't want to do it, then fine. Take that off, put the armor buff back on hardened armor, and then change this to blood spawn. It's really up to you that's totally viable and it's totally fine you can do that and it will work but I'm doing mighty chew Dan and I'm doing green dragon blood with the lingering health because I just want to have a little bit more um, durability as I play what is a massive dot damage build so looking at the front bar we're gonna be doing venom claw executioner for our single target execute Forward Momentum for our Snare Immunity, Major Endurance. Noxious Breath for our Major Fracture, along with some Poison Damage and another Poison Dot. We talked about Green Dragon Blood. And then I'm going to use Corrosive Armor. Now Corrosive Armor basically doesn't give you the ability to put all of your dots and then have them completely bypass anymore. So some of you might say, why even use this? I use it because it's 12 seconds of basically like damage immunity um, and I do like that quite a bit. It still dishes a decent damage dot, damage immunity and then it does make your uh, executioner hit really hard because that will bypass all resists. So you can use that, I mean you could go with the two hand berserker rage but if you look at it. I mean, this is four seconds longer than what Berserker Rage will do. And in some ways, it's better. So, up to you, but I'm going to run 
corrosive armor. I still like that ult quite a bit. And uh, obviously Essence of Lingering Health. On the back bar, because uh, I am using a certain dual wield set we will talk about, I'm going to run Quick Cloak. It gives me Major Expedition, Major Evasion, along with Major Protection. I'm going to use Blood Craze for a single target dot that also heals me a little bit. Vigor, Temporal Guard for minor protection. I'm going to run Fossilize. I don't know if you're aware of this. It's the best ability in the entire game. Two CCs in one. Are you kidding me? And then I'm going to run Consuming Trap. A really nice hard-hitting dot that restores some nice resources once it's leveled up. Every time it levels. Like this is only Consuming Trap 1. And you see the resources it returns when, when an affected enemy dies. This thing like exponentially gets better as it ranks up. Like Consuming Trap 2, 3, 4 way better return on those resources so um, a very nice ability that I like now let's look at the gear talked about Mighty Chudan the next set that I'm going to wear is based on the fact that you have a 4000 mag coag or green dragon blood a 2700 consuming trap and a 4000 fossilize as a result magicka is going to be necessary on this build and therefore I'm running five piece shackle breaker. Heavy chest, heavy leg, medium glove, medium boot, and then I'm wearing one ring infused weapon damage. So five piece shackle breaker, and shackle breaker is solely to give me the ammunition to run these three very expensive magicka abilities. Okay. In addition, I'm going to run on the front bar five piece essence thief okay five piece essence thief one and then the ring stamina recovery necklace so one two three and then a front bar battle axe nern hone with a weapon damage enchant and then back bar with double dot poisons i'm going to run the black rose dual wield set so that in effect is the new stamina dk that i'm rocking a lot of dots, I mean a ton of dots, corrosive, fossilize them, go into your single target pressure with corrosive giving you complete bypass on your executioner. A lot of healing that you have, you've got a burst heal and green dragon blood, obviously your vigor heal, you've got your blood craze heal, and then you've got your lingering health heal going the entire time as well. Um... Yeah, that's the Stam DK in Scalebreaker. Dropping Deadly to pick up Shackle in order to run some new expensive Magicka toys. Mighty Chudan as always, but if you chose not to do that, that's fine. If I was not going to do Chudan, then certainly Blood Spawn with Hardened Armor and then go back to Essence of Immovability. And, um, and then the Essence Thief, 10% more damage, which is pretty amazing I mean you basically are gonna put one dot two dot three dot four dot right and then you're going to empower all of that by 10% not to mention the double dot poison potentially the single uh, twin twin blunt and bleed bleed and then the heavy bleed you could get all of that ticking and then pick up the essence thief rune and literally multiply that damage by 10% so, not bad. A lot of conditions that you can get on the target. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. That's the Stam DK for Scale Breaker. See you in the battlegrounds. Peace.